Well, hello everybody, welcome to G-Bears Off-Grid Ways, Homestead in the Desert, January 11th, 2020. And yeah, we're looking at the uh, wind blowing out there, 22 to 24 now. Um, earlier today, uh, when we got up uh, this morning, they were gusting up to 40 miles an hour. I saw 41 hit briefly, but then it dropped back down. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been uh, pretty gusty out here all day long. Supposed to end sometime soon here. They said around 5 or 6 p.m., but uh, doesn't seem to be letting up any. I was just uh, just out there picking up stuff that was blowing around. Uh, my trash barrel blew over, and I had to go pick up all the plastic bags that were laying around. And anyway, uh, I was out at the, uh, the battery room a little while ago and uh, looking at the uh, turbine output, and I'm running anywhere... Uh, on the lower gust down to about 500 watts and on the higher gust getting 700 watts so on top of the uh, 1400 watts of solar panels because it's uh, clear and sunny clear blue sky out there as you can see and you can see the sun getting ready to set shadows are casting over the compound now but uh, with all of that going on my um, uh, dump load has been clicking on and off and I just went when I went into the room there to check it it was a nice comfortable 75 degrees inside the room even though it's pretty chilly outside we can take a look at that it's uh it's down to 50 out there but with the wind chill and 42 percent humidity it feels like it's about 40. so yeah it's pretty chilly and the uh settlers down the road down there uh Yesterday when they left they had put up um, OSB uh, plywood sheets too high stacked them uh, So that they were laying sideways. So they were eight feet tall up against those wooden posts they put in the ground and uh, Looking out there and they're all gone. There's no more out there. See they're all gone. They, they were right along there and uh we went out to the store today and picked up uh, some groceries and necessities, stuff that we needed. Got it all back here, and uh, uh, we decided to take a ride down there and see what happened. And it pulled the wooden posts and concrete footings right out of the ground. So they got a lesson learned there. All that work is for nothing. And now down at this end, you see all the... Uh, poles there it looks like they're going to put up a chain link fence and uh i don't know wh where they're getting their measurements from but uh if they're on that 10 acre lot over there which is 18 i'm pretty sure number 18 um they're they're going into plot 19 which is another 10 acre plot so they they've crossed across two different uh properties there i don't know i know they're not they're not going through the uh the county and getting the proper uh, boundaries for their their property they're just guessworking at it so some guy's going to come out here and look at his 10 acres and go what the heck uh, they'll end up tearing all that down too anyway that's all there is for today uh well, like i said we went to the stores today and um, pierre's getting ready to leave because uh, he's got another uh engagement that he's got to get to um, in Arizona by the 15th, so um, it's already the 10th. Uh, he's uh, getting all of his packing together, make sure he's got uh, all the stuff he needs to have and where, where it's supposed to be and things like that. And uh, he picked up a bunch of food at the supermarket to restock all his shelves. Uh, tonight is uh, marinated chicken and... Boneless, skinless uh, chicken leg meat with uh, a citrus marinade. And we're going to do that on the barbecue indoors because uh, it's a little too hot outside. So we'll be cooking it on this barbecue. Well, a little too hot outside. Yeah. A little too windy outside. But uh, yeah, we're going to have some, uh, some other stuff with that. Uh, probably some uh, uh, a salad or some potatoes or whatever we'll, we'll, we'll come up with something uh, but uh, we just had a late lunch we stopped at the uh, cross-eyed cow on historic route 66 and we had uh, 
uh, a pizza there and uh, we both ate half a pizza and uh, then we had a, a beer each and that was it and then we headed back over and we had to stop and check my mail and that kind of stuff and we're finally back home but uh, neither one of us is really hungry at this point so We'll, uh, we'll be waiting a while. Probably won't eat until 7.30 tonight. That's all there is to it, everybody. Um, I'll show you tomorrow what hey, all the damage from the wind that we have to fix. My uh, guy wires are slipping down. I, I went and When I was in town, I got a new clamp for it to make sure they don't slide down the pole anymore. So anyway, that's where we're at. G-Bear, reminding you, give me a thumbs up down there. Please don't forget to like my videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Again, reminding you, subscriptions are free. Doesn't cost you anything to click subscribe. And then when the little notification bell icon pops up, click on that. And you'll be notified whenever I post a video and you won't miss anything. And uh, I thought something was wrong yesterday's video because I wasn't getting any comments on it. But uh, th this morning they started coming through again. So I guess people just didn't feel like commenting yesterday. G-Bear, signing off.